Alright, yo guys, Joshua Mac 2 here, and today I am back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Microsoft Flight Simulator regular A320 liveries to ones that are supported by the fly-by-wire Airbus A320. Okay guys, so before we get into this video, if you would like to like and subscribe, it really helps me out and I massively appreciate it. We've been growing quite nicely recently and I would like to continue that, so it really, really help me. Alright guys, so with the uh, new release of the uh, A320NX stable build of uh, 0.6, they also ch changed the uh, installer, which by the way can be downloaded from the Discord as you can see here flybywiresim.com you can click on that it will open and you can click the installer and you'll download as a setup.exe and then all you have to do is run it okay uh, where is it let's go back so we uh, about two weeks ago a week ago the flybywire Airbus a320 split from the default so now in your simulator um, instead of just using the default a320 which will like when you select your aircraft, you select the A320, which will then load up the A320NX by fly-by-wire. Now you can pick between a, the A320NX, which is a completely separate aircraft now, within your max of flight sim. So you do have to make sure you select A320NX, not just the A320, because that will show the default max of flight sim version. However, this caused a slight incompatibility with liveries, so therefore you do need to convert them. Now, luckily in the installer, they have uh, added a converter tool, which is really good. And I'm going to be showing you how to use that today. So, um, yep. So when you have loaded up the newest version of the installer, you should be greeted something like this. You can go to settings here and you want to put your install directory as your community folder. So you want to go to app data, roaming, Microsoft flight simulator packages, and then community as you can see here just like that and you want to select that folder you should see all your uh, aircraft or your uh, different liveries and stuff like that so you can just click select that folder okay now this is if all your liveries are in that community folder your uh, liveries that maybe you might have installed from the mega livery pack I do have a video on how to do that using their installer so Go check that out it'll be in the link in the description and also in a card in the top right so if you're using a separate liveries directory there's a different method of doing this um which is all explained in this document file on how to do this uh, i'm just doing it as a video okay so if you like me you just have your liveries in your community folder and they just work then you can just do exactly as what i'm doing in this video so it has already kind of come up that I've got some incompatible liveries in my community folder and it's asking, do I want to convert them? You can click convert and then you can select which ones you want to do. So you can select certain ones. I, I of course, want to do all of them. So I can click select all and it selects them. I can click confirm. And I believe it should start doing it. Well, you should see the progress bar rising any second now. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have converted all our liveries now. And all I did is click convert, confirm like I did before. And it started doing it. It only took about 15 seconds. So not 100% sure what this is, but this is only the traffic livery. So I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, it looks like we've done all of them successfully. Oh. Apart from our US Airways one, uh, I don't think it's picked the file up. Uh, I'm not too bothered about that. I've done all of the others and it did just do them all in one go. So I hope this has helped you guys. This installer is really great and I like that I've included this converter. Uh, now you can do it manually of course which is in the uh, documentation file which you can find on the Discord server. Uh, but I prefer this method. It is so, so simple. So I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one guys. Thank you very much.